hear that V6 growl, nothing new about it. But what's special about this car is that this is the first locally manufactured AMG. Welcome to Times of India Auto. I am Anirban and today with the car we are driving is the Mercedes-Benz GLC 43 AMG. Like the video, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I feel fortunate to drive this beautiful car before the end of a decimal year. It's delightful to the eyes when parked. The signature Pan Americana grille teams up with the multi-beam LED projector headlamps to offer a wide view to the front. Strong lines are characteristic of the coupe. Lines originate from the longish hood. It seems they merge into the sinking roof line which terminates with a kink at the rear. Mercedes has done a balanced treatment of GLC 43's body. It is quite distinctive, it is delightful to the eyes and at the same time doesn't overwhelm as the way bigger GLE 53 will. The dual tip twin exhaust setup look as aggressive as they sound. Now Mercedes has taken the layout of GLC and improvised on that to make this such a beautiful place to sit at. Uh, allow me to explain. Now I have been uh, lucky enough to drive the GLC 220D followed by the 300D Coupe and now the AMG in quick successions. And the biggest change I see here is the amount of sophistication that has been injected right here. The dashboard layout is the same but you have plenty of soft touch material doubled up uh, by red stitching. Look at the seats, they are electrically adjustable. You also get the heating feature, ventilation is a miss. Other feature comforts include Burmester sound system, you have one touch electric sunroof, wireless charging and you also have the new MBUX enabled touchscreen infotainment system. In fact, the driver's display out here is also different from the regular GLC. This one gets a fully digital colored unit. The brushed aluminium inserts on the door panels complement the dark theme. The seats feel so much more cosier and cushier than the regular GLC. The snuggish and warm feel is better at the back seats. The typical Mercedes touchpad in the central console is the one-stop junction to toggle through the car controls. Mercedes Me Virtual Assistant, an AI-based structure, allows multiple convenient connect like speed monitor and emergency e-call. Now you have already heard the Made in India V6 growl. It's time to talk about the performance. Under the hood is a 3-litre 6-cylinder V6 engine which pumps out 390 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque. And there has been a decent increase in output figures. Coupled with the engine is a 9-speed automatic, the regular one which does duties for other Mercedes-Benz cars in India. You get as many as five drive modes in the car. However, I feel eco mode is a miss out here. You get an AMG steering wheel and this one gets an adaptive suspension setup instead of the regular GLCs which come with normal coil suspensions. The ride quality and handling are way matured than the regular GLC or the 300D Coupe. A 4 system, the AMG Coupe is slightly rear wheel drive biased. Comfort is packed to the gills, the drive is enjoyable and AMG GLC is everything you wish from a car of this segment. The handling is precise and the more you push the car, the better you feel. It's grounded and confident around the corners. The ride quality, however, is slightly firmer than the regular GLC and that's quite understandable thanks to the sportiness. Whoa. Well, you buy an AMG for this, right? The thrill of driving. Now, to give you a perspective, the regular 220D clogged around uh, 7.5 seconds to 0 to 100, whereas the 
300 day coupe took uh, just uh, around six and a half just less than seven but this one the amg format well this clock 0 to 100 just over five seconds showing why this is an amg the most powerful of them all the top speed is electronically limited to 250 kmph the 9 speed amg transmission is quick and responsive in terms of safety AMG GLC comes with a suite of Mercedes package, 7 airbags, active brake assist, 24-7 Mercedes Me Connect and more are a part of the package. Now you can argue that coupes are not to everybody's taste and not every luxury car owner seeks an AMG or a performance vehicle. But at the end of the day, it's good to see how Mercedes-Benz is actually expanding its business bringing in AMG cars like this and these are locally produced. This is the first one and there would be more cars to follow. Just to give you a perspective about this market, this one is priced at rupees just around 76 lakh X showroom. The closest it can get the competition from BMW is in the form of X3M which is almost 20 lakh over this one. Surely it stands in a no man's island and punches the performance that you can really bank upon. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned with Times of India Auto for further news and updates.